Hi everybody, and welcome to another of Randy's Rants from the Greenhouse again. Um, I want to thank Joe for allowing me to sit down uh, while I do this rant today because we had such a successful sale of plants at the farmer's market today, I've got to set some more into good soil and i got to label them. This is a cherry tomato plant. Uh, I'm clipping off the bottom uh, branches of it because on a tomato plant you can plant to the lowest level. So if I plant this baby all the way down in, all this becomes root structure. And guess what? It'll grow like crazy and fast because of that. And uh, I'm putting it in what we referred to before as Ohio Gold. Um, or was it Ohio Brown? Ohio Gold, it's uh, horse manure and sawdust that's five years old, so it's completely smelling like dirt. No essence of poo there. I like it. Um, anyway, I'm doing this because we don't have enough plants left to keep selling next week. And um, in addition to selling a boatload of plants today, a lot of people from the neighborhood came to the farmer's market and couldn't afford plants, and so we gave them to them. So we gave a boatload of plants away, and we sold some plants to support the Community Bill of Rights, um, which is basically a, a citizen's initiative for people to be able to make their own, own decisions about what is in their community. We're going at it again. This will be our fifth time on the ballot. But you know what? We don't lose until we quit. And that's true for every part of our revolution. Community Bill of Rights, the Farmer's Market, the Greenhouse, Randy's Rants, Occupy Youngstown, Occupy Warren, all part of the revolution. And all doing good for people. Um, some people say Occupy didn't do such a hot job of saying what was important. I have not found that to be, be the case. I think Occupy has done a wonderful job. It's just diversified. The thing I like about Occupy is that there's no head to cut off. You aren't coming to get us because you can't get us all. Uh, we are, after all, the 99%, the vast majority. Whenever you put a plant in, make sure that you give it water very soon because it's like trauma when you screw with a root system so I put this plant this is a cherry tomato people will know that because the homemade sign this was a Venetian blind that I got out of the garbage and used a magic marker that I stole from a corporation to make a sign that says cherry which means cherry tomato there it's two bucks now it'll be four bucks uh, in, a, in two or three weeks and then there's a huge tomato where here you can see this one here That's five bucks. This one might be six bucks because it's got a nice pot Depends on whether the person who buys it looks like they can afford it or not. I change the prices of things uh, Depending on what I think people can afford um, And oftentimes people say oh you didn't charge enough and ask for um, And then they give me a donation um, when you're weeding Again, I'm going to tell you this every week until you start eating it. All of you start eating it. This is lamb's quarter. It's a vegetable that grows in tomato plants. And it's delicious. And more nutritious. And it's good in smoothies. <laughs> yeah, Joe knows. Because Joe took some of the lettuce and he took some of the kale from outside. There's a piece of kale there. Show people what kale looks like, Joe. Can you get a shot of that? Yep. The dark green one is kale. Oh, like yeah, I got lettuce. it. Okay. That is delicious in a smoothie. It's delicious fried with onions. We're harvesting onions from the community garden now, too. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Um, but the community garden has uh, pretty much finished up strawberries. We got about, I don't know, 10 quarts? No, gallons. 10 gallons of strawberries. And some of the folks in the project are going to be making strawberry jam and uh, one of the reasons I'm, I'm, I have to keep working is I'm supposed to go over to another Occupy house tonight to make mulberry um, 
and strawberry preserves and jam. We're gonna do both, I think. Um, and so I gotta, I gotta keep working because there's lots to do to make off the grid, non-corporate jellies and jams. And non-GMO. And non-GMO organic, absolutely. All non-GMO and organic. That's the gig. 100% healthy, 100% free, recycled, reused, repurposed. Oh, and speaking of that, what was a week or so ago, we talked. I talked very, very briefly about making political signs, and I showed you some signs that were over there in the kitchen, and someone made a comment, what? How do you do that? So I thought I'd take a moment to explain that in a little more detail, because I was kind of rushing those. I was coming up the stairs showing you the off-grid um, power system that we have here in the house. On election day, signs are at every polling place. Um, you know, the metal wires sticking in the ground with the plastic or cardboard to go over them. Um, you're I don't know how it is where you are, but where I am, you're allowed to take those signs. Once the, uh, the election is over, they're up, the people who put them up are obligated to move them, and if they don't, you can have them. And what you do is you take them out, you turn them inside out, and you um, write on the other side. Um, we use them for the Community Bill of Rights, and we write vote yes for the Community Bill of Rights. Um, and we use them over and over again because we go get ours. Um, except for the ones that the, um, the union that's opposed to us uh, steals. Um, we know that's happening. We've caught them. On tape, we haven't turned them in because that's not our style. Um, we figured we're not responsible for their karma. We're just responsible for ours. We know it. They know it. And uh, we let it go. We let them steal. Anyway, we take those signs and we put things like um, Walmart Cheats America or Vote Yes for the Community Bill of Rights or Vote Yes for Bernie Sanders or um, Buy Local or by GMO, or... Non-GMO. Uh, thank you. Goodbye, non-GMO. Purchase non-GMO. Thanks, Joe. Uh, sometimes I get my merch wicks up. Sometimes they're bass backwards too. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, that's what we do with signs. Um, and they're, you can use them once. Uh, if you put a date on them, you can use them again and again if you don't. You can also choose subjects um, that are um, your favorite. Like if you're, and a lot of people believe the most important thing we need to do is to change the Constitution so that corporations are no longer citizens. Uh, move to amend.org, um, re, uh, represent us, other organizations doing actions um, and political things to uh, stop corporations. If you do that, um, like some dudes just say uh, corporations are not people move to amend.org on a sign, freehand. Some of those signs are plastic. What I've done is taken the plastic and um, it, turn them inside out. It's a black canvas. It's perfect. So anyway, that's a little bit of a rant here in um, the greenhouse uh, about signs because um, reuse, repurpose, recycle, and um, uh, don't buy that crap about don't, uh, thou shalt not steal. That's a scam. Uh, buy that crap, don't steal from people. Corporations, yes, but not people. Anyway, that's Randy's rant for today. Um, thank you for watching. And those of you from foreign countries, if you're sending in questions, make sure they're in English, because you know what? No habla espanol or any other language. Thank you. Thanks, Randy. You're welcome. Thanks, Joe. Bye, everybody.